All right, let's go ahead and insert some sound files. We're going to be spending some time on insert, and also uh, we're going to need to open our custom animation pane. And I'm going to talk about that in a little bit later. Uh, first of all, we go to insert, go to sound. We can add sound from file, sound from clip organizer, CD audio track, or record sound. Now, we're going to stay away from the first and third options, sound from file and CD audio track, because uh, it links the sound file just like we talked about before and so if you move the PowerPoint presentation or move the file it could break the link and so that could be kind of obnoxious we're gonna avoid that sound from clip organizer is like um, adding sound from clip art uh, you know the little clip art pane shows up you type in what you want claps and I have some uh, sound files that are relevant to what I just typed in once I click on it, it'll ask if I want to play it automatically or when clicked. Choose either one. Okay, so let's take a look. When we click on the sound file, it'll bring us to the sound tools options. Uh, you can hide this little clip during the show. For example, if I play, it it's visible. And if I don't like that, I would click on hide during show, and it's going to be gone. Um, now this is where, uh, well this is how it works. My sound file is not actually going to play until everything's on the screen. And this is where we need to go to the animations tab and click on custom animation and bring that pane out. As you can see when we talked about animations, we talked about what comes in first, second, and third. So as you can see the title comes in first, subtitle comes in second, my name and um, the sound file comes along with it. Now we can start it on click or we can move it up and have it play at the very beginning. Now it's a zero which means it plays once we open up the slideshow. So uh, that's why you have to spend some time with the custom animation pane to to figure out uh, where you want your sound to play. Do you want it to play when a certain picture pops up, do you want it to play during the title, during the bullet points, whatever it is you choose. The same applies for when you record a sound. The little sound recorder is going to show up. I'm going to make a sound, stop, press OK, and the sound's going to show up. And right here, the sound is being triggered by a mouse click. I can move that up and have it triggered by a um, at the same time as the title if I'd like. The other thing we're going to look at is um, if we click on any of our objects. This is another way of adding sound. Let's say I click on the graphic. I can take a look at that animation and I could go to effect options and I could sa add sounds this way. So. Um, and I can choose this sound, press OK, and it will play along with the animation. So those are ways of adding sound. Um, it's really up to you whether you want to add it or not. Uh, I know some people like it and some people really hate sound in their PowerPoint presentations. So um, go ahead and try it for yourself and see what you think.